On the 24th of May, I received a phone call at around about seven o'clock in the evening. Um, obviously, when the banks were closed, the number which came up on the uh, indicator was the bank number. They said that they were from later, from uh, the building society and that my account was in jeopardy. They went on to explain all the details of my account. They had all the information which uh, the building society would normally hold. They said that uh, my account should be transferred to a safe account and um, I immediately considered that it was a scam. However, 20 minutes later I had a further telephone call and the person on the end of the line, again it was a confirmed number, uh, that was a bank number, the person on the end of the line said he was Ben Henderson and he was the local branch manager of my bank and that he confirmed that the account was in jeopardy and that I should transfer it. He had all the details of my account, he had all my personal details, uh, he even knew my um, mother's maiden name. I was convinced that uh, it probably was correct. And he went on together with another colleague to transfer uh, four, three amounts out of my savings account of £4,900 each, making a total of over £14,000. A few days later, I had a telephone call, not a letter, a telephone call from a female assistant at the bank's headquarters saying that uh, my account uh, had been jeopardised and it they'd taken £14,900 out, but because it was a transaction which I had approved, I would not get any money back. I've worked hard all my life, and the money that I've saved has been a result of working hard. Uh, no money has ever come easily to me. Um, and they're just scum, because they're not hard working, they're depriving other people of money. Uh, and I've no doubt uh, it's mixed up with the underworld. It's one of those things. But my appeal is, take no notice of any phone scams.